So Kyle, this is the first chance we've had to speak to you since you were announced as the, the club captain this season. Um, what kind of honour is that for you to have been given that role? Yeah, obviously it's a, a great honour. Um, obviously for myself, obviously my family um, and also from the trust in the manager uh, to make us captain. Um, as I say, any time you've, I've been obviously captain before in our club and obviously to be captain in this one is also is an honour and as I said, just hope I can do my best on the pitch um, for everyone, help everyone, all the boys on the pitch and just, as you say, become a leader to all of them. You have that leadership qualities, has that always been a, a natural instinct of yourself or does the captain's armband kind of give you that extra edge to your game? Uh, I, th I think in terms of my career I've always kind of been vocal, I think it probably comes to the position I play it, um, obviously managers I've had before, I've always also tried to St I st stole that into us. Obviously, I need to talk um, for the position we're playing, um, and I think I've just done it throughout the years. And obviously, I was also made captain, obviously at ref, um, throughout uh, for like the last four years or something. So I've had experience with it before, and obviously when I've come in here, the managers obviously gave us that responsibility, and I'm happy to take it. And as you say, it's a uh, it's a great honour for me to be captain. It's probably a, a few weeks ago now, but looking back at the Queen of the South game, that leadership and organisational skills had to come to the fore, particularly in that second half where they piled on the pressure, but you would have been really pleased to, to come away from that game with three points and, and a clean sheet as well. Yeah, it was an all says as we say, we've said from the start of the season, just about picking up victories. Um, it was now three points on board, I think first half we were really dominant, really impressive. Um, second half they came out, obviously, came out and had a go at with and Moshe Dennis has made a bright save with the penalty um, and you say it's an hard clean sheet and it's five out of six in the league I believe so say as long as we can keep that going and you say hopefully we can just maintain what we've been doing. The circumstances last week with Queen Elizabeth II passing away meant the game was postponed away to Clyde so um, how, how did the schedule kind of work from a player's point of view after the, the game was called off? Mentally, was it difficult to kind of get out of game mode that you would have been totally um, raring to go for? Yeah, I think probably just in terms of the momentum we've been building um, from the start of the season, obviously six games unbeaten. Obviously, you want to obviously keep going um, every week, but obviously, obviously we know what's obviously happened with Queen Elizabeth and obviously it's circumstances, it's like you, you can't change it, it is what it is and obviously it was sad times obviously for the Obviously around the UK and as you say we've just had to deal with that the way it is and we need to be focused now, trains no obviously trains no stopped. Um, we've been in working hard this week and we'll make sure we're ready for come Saturday. That meant uh, momentum that you, you've built up that you speak of there and, and missing out last week against Clyde, this week going into the Derby match against Falkirk, there was always going to be that extra spring in the step of both sets of players anyway, but do you think that, that momentum carrying on for us gives us that extra little bit of an advantage considering that Falkirk have went into this kind of unexpected break on the on the end of a defeat? Uh, yeah, I think obviously the games will take care of itself at the end of the day. Um, I just don't know how difficult it's going to be, um, obviously for both sets of fans. Obviously the bragging rights um, for all the fans coming out on top and as you say we want to make sure we do that for our fans, we want to make sure we give it the best for our abilities, get every chance we've got and make sure we come over with three points but as you see I've said at the start it's only three points at the end of the day so no, we're not looking too far in front and as you say it's another it's only seven games in the season so we're coming up too high really. How again going back to maybe your captain say role um, do you kind of set the players up for, for a mindset this this Saturday we know that the fans are going to be here in big numbers that it's a, going to be a, a great atmosphere from from both sets of supporters at the start of the game is your final message to the players to embrace that atmosphere and to play it like a derby match or does it need to be kind of play it like a normal game and kind of forget about the noise around you yeah obviously it is as you say it'd be a derby game um, it's going to be frantic I'm going to obviously I'm just second guessing I imagine it's going to be frantic the first 20 minutes 20 minutes it's also probably about the boys who can stay calm on the pitch and obviously play their own way because obviously it'll be two teams going at each other. Um, I'm imagine obviously knowing John the way he plays, I know how those happens and obviously it'll be end to end probably. I imagine um, it's just about who keeps ahead the most. And also I will be saying to the guys, it's it is a derby and uh, I've got a tendency to put a few tackles in derbies and um, considering what's happened in the past. But as you say, I'll be giving my best 
to the group of lads, including myself, just obviously try and keep it calm and play the way we know we can play. And as you say, if we can play the way we play, hopefully we can come up three points and it'll send the fans home happy. As you said, you know John McGuinn and Paul Smith really well, so you'll know exactly what to expect from Falkirk turning up here on Saturday. They'll be coming here to try and win the game and pick up three points and, and frustrate the home fans as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously knowing both of them, um, it'll be good to see them again. And as you say, I know the way they'll, they'll come here and play, they'll be coming here looking for three points. Um, I have no doubt about that. So, as you say, we're going to be in for a really tough test. and But it's going to be an enjoyable game. It's a game you want to play in. Um, what, six, seven thousand I've heard it could be here. So, as you say, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be packed out and there's just going to be a lot of noise. And that's the game you want to play in. Is it that the final message to the support from yourself ahead of the game then? That it might be a frantic start to the game, it might be fiery, it might be a bit tense at times, but it's about sticking together and, and making sure that the fans are behind the players and, and the players are, are with the fans for the full 90 minutes. Yeah, obviously, obviously I just uh, encourage the fans to come out and support the boys. Obviously, you can be a 12th man out there obviously, in these types of games. Um, obviously, being the home, the home team and that could give one advantage. Um, obviously, coming from myself and the rest of the boys will be giving it 100% to me.